Would have been cooler if it struck the torch. But that's just me. I'm not easily impressed. And actually, oh, geez, oh, Chris. really? It's <laughs> not. It's not. All right. We do now have Tropical Depression 8. But again, as far as South Mississippi, Southeast Louisiana is concerned, nothing has changed. We're looking at a bit of more rainfall through the day Thursday, probably a more so on Friday and continuing on into Saturday. Not going to be just a complete washout, but certainly a lot more rainfall over the coming days. Tropical Depression 8 doesn't look very impressive. What the Hurricane Center has said is that based on the flights from the hurricane hunters, that they did find at least some low level closed circulation and also the fact that we have some thunderstorms trying to develop around that center of circulation. They went ahead and declared it a tropical depression. Winds are still only at 30 miles an hour. And if you remember earlier from the hurricane hunters flight, they only could find 26 mile an hour wind, so kind of Estimating that a little bit higher does place it in the category of being a depression. It is likely going to, going to maintain that strength that is a depression for at least the first half of the day tomorrow before possibly becoming and very likely tropical storm Hannah before making landfall along the Texas coast. At the moment, most of the convection or any kind of real thunderstorm development is near the center. We should start to see it get a little bit more organized and we should start to see more rainfall moving our way by Thursday and on into Friday. Notice. Even the position of the storm over toward the Texas coast, we're still looking at a bit more of that tropical moisture surging up across southeast Louisiana. And even as it moves inland very, very slowly at rotation, that kind of broad circulation around the storm is still going to be bringing us quite a bit of rainfall over the next couple of days. Notice winds of about 45 miles an hour by Saturday morning, and that's about when it should be making landfall somewhere between Corpus and Houston. Again, as far as southeast Louisiana is concerned, nothing has changed. The environment is starting to get a little bit more conducive for further development, not really rapid intensification. We shouldn't see this thing just explode in strength, but something I was pointing out over the last couple of days when this was still a wave over Cuba, we had a big upper level trough that was just to the west of the wave, creating wind shear and really preventing any further strengthening or development of the storm. Well, now that wind shear as the upper low is pushing away has kind of weakened. And so now the environment is a little bit more open for further strengthening. And you even can see some of the uh, higher cirrus clouds kind of fanning out. In other words, there's more growth potential in the uh, over the Gulf of Mexico for further development and the computer models for noon tomorrow are indicating we should start to see a little bit more of a structure to the storm as well as that rainfall moving our way. The steering also looks like it is pretty well forecasted. Ridge of high pressure is not going to allow the storm to move northward. It's going to keep pushing it toward the west and toward the Texas coast. We're not really worrying about this moving up toward Louisiana and again kind of the model consensus is basically that area between Houston and Corpus Christi and basically right along the center line of the forecasted track from the Hurricane Center. Our greatest risk rainfall Thursday and Friday. We are under a marginal low end risk for some flooding rains. The highest amounts are going to be down toward the coast, but even parts of the city could see one to two and a half inches and then not quite as much accumulation on the North Shore or in Mississippi. Not only that, with those winds kind of pushing out from the east uh, prolonged period, we may start to see some minor coastal flooding in the areas outside of the levee system where the wave or the, me, the water heights may be getting up to about one to two feet above normal. A quick check of Tropical Storm Gonzalo that is still out there. It's likely to become our first hurricane of the season, possibly tomorrow as it moves toward the Caribbean. It wouldn't get into the Caribbean until this weekend and then forecast it to weaken once it does so as the Caribbean is a fairly hostile environment right now. We'll see where that stands as we get past uh, Tropical Depression 8. And again, a lot of time to watch that one. Rain chances tomorrow. I've got to say about 60%. Doesn't look like we're going to see a great deal of rainfall. More so on into Friday. Still wet Saturday and not exactly dry, but fewer showers as we get into Sunday and continue into next week. The